Trees and shrubs shed leaves at an incredible rate in autumn. Clearing them up with a rake or broom will certainly keep you fit, but hand tools have their limitations. For example, it can be very tricky removing debris from gravel surfaces or from low-growing, delicate plants. Powered blowers make clearing leaves much quicker and easier. They make it simple to access awkward corners and crevices, quickly blasting fallen leaves into neat piles for easy collection, or whooshing leaves under shrubs to rot down in situ and improve the soil. Blowers can be useful all year round, not just in autumn. Use them to quickly clear debris from paths before it gets trodden in to become a slip hazard, or to tidy up after pruning or hedge trimming. In this video buyer's guide, we look at budget models of leaf blower. There's an excellent range of models available in the 50 to 100 pound price range. Some models in this bracket also have a vacuum facility and collection bag, but we'll focus mainly on the blower function. For 100 pounds or less, there are two types of blower, electric, powered from the mains, and cordless, powered by rechargeable batteries. There are pros and cons to each. Corded models can be operated without interruption, but are dependent upon an accessible mains electricity supply. Your work can be restricted by the power cord and the safety precautions this involves when working outdoors. Cable length varied between 6 and 11 metres in the models we used, but an extension cable can greatly increase your working area. Cordless, battery-powered blowers give you the freedom to work anywhere. On the downside, these smaller models have a relatively short working time before the battery needs recharging. Charge time can vary considerably between 1 and 5 hours, depending on the model. Within the budget price range, most cordless models are blowers only, not vacuums. This is an important consideration. Do you want a machine with blower function only, or one that also has a vacuum facility, to gather up material into a collection bag? There are also models with a three-in-one function that also chop the leaves up, reducing their volume considerably, so the bag doesn't need emptying as often. A multifunction tool can seem like a good option, but it does make the tool a good deal heavier and bulkier, especially with blower vacs that have dual tubes. On some models, the vacuum tube can be removed and used with the blower tube alone, which makes handling easier, particularly helpful if you need to get into tight, hard-to-reach corners and behind pots. The combined blower vacs tend to be heavier, but this can be mitigated by shoulder straps and nose wheels on the end of the blower tube, which takes some of the weight. This does make the machine more awkward to move around, though. The lightest blower we looked at weighed only 1.6 kilos, while the heaviest blower vac was just over 5 kilos. There is a trade-off here, the heavier machines have much more oomph. The power output of a blower is measured in watts for electric models and volts for corded models. The airflow speed in the blower tube is measured in kilometres per hour, while the airflow is measured in cubic metres per hour. This depends on the width of the tube. The strongest blasts of air might not always be desirable. It all depends on where you'll be working. For example, shifting leaves on paving can be done quickly on full power but lower power is best when clearing debris off fine gravel and delicate plants. Some models have a variable speed function from two to six speeds, which can easily be changed. Consider noise levels, especially if your neighbors are close by. Cordless blowers are generally quieter than corded models. Think also about storage space. If the blower will come apart easily, it will take up less room when not in use. Most blowers will need some degree of assembly. Some are very simple, with the blower tube just snapping on. Others are more complex and need to be screwed together. To use a corded model, unwind the cable fully and plug into the power supply using a residual current device. If using an extension cable, ensure it's suitable for outdoor use. Unwind it completely, as coiled cables can overheat. Make sure the cables are positioned so they won't snag on sharp objects and become damaged. And don't work with the cable stretched to its limit. The lithium-ion batteries that power cordless models need charging before use. Some models have an integral battery, so the power cable needs to be plugged into the machine. Others have a separate charger and a removable battery. Immediately after use, recharge, ready for next time. Be sure to wear suitable protective gear. Ear defenders are a good idea if working for any length of time, and safety glasses will prevent debris blowing into your eyes. Avoid loose sleeves, jewellery and loose long hair that could be drawn into the air inlet. Wear long trousers and closed shoes rather than sandals. To operate, simply switch on the blower and point the nozzle at the ground to direct the jet of air on the leaves or debris. Walk slowly forwards to gather the material into a heap, in a corner, by a tree or shrub, or anywhere else that makes it easy to pile up and collect the waste. Alternatively, blow leaves onto bare soil where they can be left to rot down. Be aware that powerful jets of air can move small stones and also damage delicate plants. If the blower has a variable speed function, start on the lowest setting first if working near plants, 
and increase as required. Do consider wildlife such as newts, toads and hedgehogs, which can shelter in dead leaves. This is less of an issue with newly fallen leaves, but debris that's been lying for a while could be occupied. Inspect first and don't blow or vacuum leaves until you're sure nothing is there. After use, switch off the blower and unplug corded models from the mains. Remove the battery or activation key and clean the tube with a damp cloth. Clean the air intake using a soft brush. With all this in mind, is a budget blower the right choice for you? Or will you opt for simple hard work with a brush or rake?